Now a GMA medical alert. For the first time ever, doctors are issuing guidelines for treating depression during pregnancy. Up to 23% of pregnant women struggle with depression, and many worry about how antidepressant drugs will affect their fetus, so they stop taking the drugs during pregnancy. But now, both psychiatrists and obstetricians are saying it's okay for some pregnant women to keep taking those powerful medications. And Dr. Marie Savard is here to help clarify all this for us. This is such an interesting set of guidelines that's come out. What's, what, first of all, is so significant about them saying this? Well, first of all, untreated depression during pregnancy is serious, not just for the mom, but for her baby. So that's important. But the risks, and this is why the guidelines are so, so new and interesting, the fact that psychiatrists and obstetricians, gynecologists got together and agreed on a roadmap to help guide women through the difficult right. decision, who should and who shouldn't take medication. And surprisingly, that had not happened before. There were no guidelines, that, essentially. That's true. And in fact, psychiatrists would often say, you need your medication. If you've had serious depression, you need to stay on that medicine. Obstetricians, of course, were worried about the baby as well, and there were health concerns, safety concerns about the medicine. Okay, so bottom line of these guidelines, as I understand it, is they're suggesting that some women can stay on medications that normally when you're going through pregnancy, you would think you should kick everything. You shouldn't take drugs. Is that what they're saying? They are saying that. They're saying that the risk of untreated depression and, and certainly mild depression can be treated with psychotherapy, talk therapy, and they include that in their guidelines. But for serious depression, where that is not enough, medications are important to treat the depression because the risk to the baby, for example, the risk of future, you know, postpartum depression is much higher. The risk during the pregnancy, the mom who's untreated is more likely to not make her prenatal visits. She may smoke, drink, mm -hmm. take drugs. The, so they're really acknowledging for the first time that the risk of un, not treating may be greater than the more risk of harm. the medication. But on the other hand, there have been so many reports. Paxil, for one, has been identified has a, a warning on its label saying that, that it could cause birth defects. So what's a person to think about these drugs that, you know, couldn't they potentially have side effects? Well, I think this report goes through all the research around those side effects, and they really give a lot of peace of mind to the doctors that, in general, these drugs have been found to be useful and safe, and they are being monitored. But we do need a lot more research. Paxil is unique in that they do recommend, the FDA has recommended, because of some concerns about some abnormalities, which have been reported, again, the research they said is not very good, that you shouldn't start that medicine. But the SSRIs in general that have been used and very popular are exactly what women are going to be put on or may need to take during their pregnancy. And the guidelines are complex, but it's based on everybody's individual situation, sort of where you are in your pregnancy. Yes, or even before. So they say before pregnancy, you might even want to wean off before you get pregnant if the depression is mild and you've been treated for six weeks. And then they go step by step what the scenarios are. Very clear. I think it's worth looking into and talking to your doctor about it. Absolutely. And we will put the full guidelines on our website, abcnews.com. Bill?